What's going on, y'all? I'm Ma Hi Mari, and thank you so much for watching this video. I'm a student pilot, and I'm in the beginning stages of my student, my pilot career. Excuse me. I saw the video of the helicopter, you know, descending in a spiral and bursting into flames, and I just didn't want to believe that that was true. So, you know, I did more research and then uh, someone posted, you know, the live ATC, the air traffic control communications between the pilot and um, air traffic control. I was really skeptical on even going live and like, you know, sharing what I thought or sharing what happened, you know, from a pilot's perspective. The video, I hope it brings you clarity. I hope it um, eases your pain. Um, uh, I hope it makes sense. I really hope it makes sense. Mile high, Mari. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys have a blessed, blessed day. What up, y'all? So, um, I found the actual ATC, the air traffic control, um, voices back to back from the pilot to the traffic control and i just want to explain a little bit what happened um that mind you i'm not perfect i don't know everything you know what i mean i'm still learning in my flight career but based off the information i know um is that he left oc orange county and um was heading to burbank um before i get to that point in order to fly into any airspace you have to ask for permission to fly into the airspace you have to um call the tower and ask if it's okay to fly in the airspace so he was flying around burbank airspace let's see We're two echo x-ray continue following your five northwestbound to join the 118 so that right there was burbank's tower basically telling him to follow the 118 freeway and keep going north um, until he is seen on the radar. Um, so basically he's saying like once you get to a certain point, Van Ness, um, which is the airport tower that he was trying to communicate with to land, um, he would switch and talk to that operator on that tower, right? Radar service terminated. So... Contact Van Ness helicopters, 119.0. Echo switching so that was the pilot basically talking to Van Ness's um, tower telling him his location and he has a special VFR trans ten, transition um, VFR means visual flight rules so like I said you have to um, hack permission to be able to um, fly into anyone's uh, airspace right so he's basically flying at 14,000 feet which is not high what got me when I was listening to this is uh, she said the helicopter name she said Van Ness Tower the wind is calm she got me right here when she said the visibility um, was two and one and a half and the ceiling of overcast was 1100 feet so basically the visibility was Two and one half is like 50 yards, if not 100, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the ceiling to the overcast was 1,100 feet. Mind you, I just told you this man was flying at 1,400 feet, which isn't that far. Like, you're, I feel like he was in the, the midst of the overcast if the ceiling of the overcast was uh, at 1,100 feet. 1,100 so right there she was basically saying um he's cleared to leave burbank's airspace and fly into van ness's airspace um at a conditions um 2500 feet or lower and this is him the pilot talking um to van ness's right now so echo x-ray advise it to be a far condition uh and then we stay on the uh 118 so we're currently at 1400 and we have 
So what he was just saying is that um, he had the VFR conditions, he was good, um, and that he was flying along the 118 freeway, and that he was um, flying at 1,400 feet. If, just for me personally, if, um, you know, the ceiling is at 1,100 feet, and you're flying at 1400 feet i feel like that's too close for comfort like i feel like that's you're like in fog like you're driving in fog you know what i mean um flying in fog van nice so basically um van nice air airport just cleared him and let him fly through Burbank to get to the north part of Van Ness's airspace. And excuse me if I'm saying that name wrong. And that was the pilot just asking if it was okay to start turning towards the southwest of the 101 freeway. Okay, this got me. So remember we said that the VFR conditions were um, 2,500 feet or below. And I'm, you know, just for the comfort, like, I wouldn't want to fly in fog if I didn't have to. You know what I mean? I just, that's just something I wouldn't do. So he just said his VFR conditions um, is 1,500. But the lady before him told him it was uh, 2,500. So I, I don't know, you know, off of my experience, I don't I don't know if that was miscommunication or, or what. But if she said that the minimum, or the maximum, excuse me, is at twenty five hundred and you're flying at fifteen hundred fifteen hundred feet and it's like really foggy, like I would climb a little bit so I can like see more. If that makes sense, you know. So he transmit. He's he got cleared. He's good. He's so right there. Um, that was SoCal's like the whole SoCal's tower to basically get his information. And he basically all he said was he was trying to get his information. Like, who are you? Like, like you know, you're flying in my zone. Like, what was your intentions? You listen one more time. This is someone. So he's flying. So he asks for his, um, you know, identif identification, like who you are, like I said. Um, based on where he was flying, like he said he was in 1,400 feet, he was too low for his radio to keep connecting back and forth with um, Van Ness's um, tower. So, basically, this is the pilot, right? So he's right here, right? I want to go back so you guys can show, so I can show you how. Where... Okay. So this is Burbank's airspace. It may look confusing. And this is Van Ness's airspace. It may look confusing. So I'm gonna fast forward it. So just remember that right here is Burbank's and this is Van Ness's. Just just remember that this is Burbank's airspace and this is Van Ness's airspace. So this is beginning of the flight. This is when he was circling around Burbank. Two echo X-ray, continue following the five northwest bound to join the 118, and then uh, Van Iso. He's in Van Ness right here. Radar service is terminated. Remain that squawk. Contact Van Ness helicopters 119.0. Two echo X-ray, switching to Van Ness. Van Ness helicopter, two echo X-ray with you for the special VFR transition. We are currently at 1400. Helicopter, send two echo X-ray Van Ness tower. Wind calm, visibility two and one half. So, like I said, she's she has the helicopter's name right here, the tower, whatever. Windcom, the visibility, like I said, is two and two and a half, and the ceiling, uh, overcast is eleven hundred feet. Like, but you're flying at fourteen hundred. Like that's still that's too close. 
That's that's too close to be flying near some fog. Uh, you should you should raise that up by 400 feet, just for safety reasons. Northeast of Van Nuys along the 118 freeway, westbound. Advise when you're in VFR conditions so, or when you're clear of the Van Nuys class delta. Transition out or below 2,000. Like I said, she is telling him right now the transition from Van Ness, or uh, Burbank, excuse me, air, airspace right here from Van Ness's. You have to transition from 2,500 or below. He was flying at 1,400. That's like a whole shit thousand feet that you could you could climb for for safety, you know, reasons like 500 committee. Especially with all that fog. So y'all just saw that lady tell him 2,500, and he gonna tell her I'm flying at 1,400. Like I'm, I'm at 1400. You know what I mean? Like. I just be a fog condition. Uh, that don't make no sense. Wednesday, on the uh, 118, so we'll turn to you at 1400, and we have zero two three five. Helicopter two echo three, thank you. And once you're clear, then I Delta, did you want to talk to SoCal? Hey, from it up two echo. So now he's moving. He got the clearance. He's good. Power for he's two moving. Echo Can we start? Go ahead and start turning to the uh, southwest close to one one. Now he asked if it's okay to continue to go through Van Ness's, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, Van Ness's uh, airspace right here said Southwest. That's Southwest. It's okay, right? Helicopter 2, Echo X-ray approved. Are you transitioning in VFR conditions? VFR conditions. What did that lady say before? She said, like I said, 2,500 feet, and now you, you only climbed 100 feet? Like you only went a hundred feet. You know how, like, small a hundred feet. And I feel like everybody that is watching this live can throw like a rock a hundred feet in the air. Like a hundred feet is not. That's not a big move, <laughs> really. This is the one thousand five hundred two echo. Helicopter two echo X ray. Thank you. Contact SoCal now one three four point two for flight following thirty four two thirty four two. Okay, so like he's he's moving southwest. X-ray ident. What you just saw is, like I said, is bro was asking for his identity. He's like, who is you? X-ray ident. Who who are you? You you in this airspace? Like, what's going on? Right. This says the advised pilot is not heard due to poor radio receiver or too low altitude. Like I said, he was too low. He said he was flying at 1,500 feet. He was too low, and there was mountains where he was. The connection wasn't all the way 100 he was too low to be able to listen and get all that information from the air traffic control right he's still flying he's still flying oh, actually, yeah, you're, uh, the the man is saying hey uh what's going on you're flying at 1200 feet like uh uh hello are you you there 1200 code uh are you requesting flight following no response And then he also, you know, he gets another, he gives another chance. It was like, hey, what's going on? What's your intentions? And then I want you to look at the time that he said, you know, what's your intentions? And the time this disappears. Intentions? Two echo x-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for... He gave him a fourth chance. Like, hey, man, you're you're too low for flying. What's, what's the deal? We're all flight following at this time. And then, boom. <sighs> he wasn't in, he was probably flying in fog. I, I'm not going to say it was super dense, but it was enough for him not to see a, a hill. Especially when the lady basically said that, you know, you should be flying at 25,000. Like, you know, and then when he transferred over to SoCal... They were saying, hey, what's going on? What's your intentions? He didn't even get the radio connection because he was too low. So, basically, all in all, there was, forget all the rumors, if, if y'all heard, like, the helicopter was messed up or um, anything negative like that. Basically.